Welcome to Lexio Divina Reflections, Tuesday of the second week in Ordinary Time, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need, and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest, and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat, and shared it with his companions? Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Pharisees see the disciples of Jesus making a path through a field of grain as they pluck the heads of grain, eating them. The Pharisees say to Jesus, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? In replying to them, Jesus mentions bread, the daily bread that sustains and nourishes the human body. But in relating the story about David sharing the consecrated bread of offering with his companions, he alludes to bread broken and shared, to bread that prepares us for eternal life, to the Eucharistic banquet he would institute at the Last Supper. In addressing the rigidity of unlawful actions done on the Sabbath, Jesus reclaims its purpose through his divine authority as the Son of God. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. God, help me see as you see, beyond appearances and superficial understanding, the things of this world provide limited access to what is really true. In your words spoken to Samuel, not as man sees, as God see, because he sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. You do not judge by appearances, Lord, but know me because you know my heart. For the sake of your people, you made the Sabbath not as a means to restrict needs, but to provide for spiritual and physical well-being. In work and relaxation, help me recall the words of Jesus throughout the day. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Give us this day our daily bread. From the Gospel Acclamation, may the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.